Hello guys, my name is Matthew and in today's video I'm going to show you how you can integrate Microsoft Outlook with Salesforce. First things first, we have to create ourselves an account at Outlook or uh, at Microsoft or log into your existing account. Once you're here in the workspace, uh, you probably find out that you won't be able to make this integration straight through Outlook, so we are going to need the third app. So we are going to use automate.eo. I will leave the link in the description underneath this video. And uh, once we're here, let's go to integrations on top corner of uh, our screen and click on integrations. Now we have to go to the bottom left part and see all categories. Once we're here, uh, we want to write down Outlook like this. And now we have to go for the counterpart which is Salesforce. Now we have a couple of options to pick from but if you won't be able to find the one that you're looking for keep scrolling down until you get to create your own integrations. Just remember underneath the triggers on the left side of your screen you should start with uh, Microsoft Outlook. So let's go with the first one and on the right side, underneath the actions, you should go uh, with Salesforce, like this. But you can pick, obviously, from many options. And all you have to do now, you have to just to click on Try It Now button, and you'll get redirected to sign into your account at automate.eo. And uh, yeah, you're a few clicks away from finishing this integration. We can also use Zapier.com, which is very similar app uh, to Automate. Also, we're useful for integrations. So once we create account here, we want to go to the top left corner and we want to click on make a Zap button. As you can see on top left side, we can name our Zap like Outlook to Sale. Uh, Salesforce like this for future research and uh, back to the back to the integration now uh, it works basically the same way so we want to start with a uh, Outlook like this trigger event also you have to pick from few continue uh, now login with the account that you created on Microsoft Outlook and now we can test the trigger. On the second action, you want to go with a Salesforce like this. Action event. Let's stick with the first one. Continue. And all we have to do now, uh, we have to just sign into Salesforce. And that's about it. So, yeah. Thanks for watching and see you on the next video.